ขอบคุณค่ะแฟนเจมส์ขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะมาร์คส์เฮฟอร์สมดาวน์ทัวร์และเขาพยายามเก็บข้อมูลของการงานนี้So this is a really cool kind of higher end upper ish shopping sort of center. There's really cool things here. There's coffee shops, there's bookstores, a gym called Jets, and there's a whole bunch of little stores as well. Now at night time we've walked past here and there's been like markets, kind of second hand belonging markets, things and clothes and sunglasses as well as food ones as well. So there's also places like massages and then down here there's a full big food court. So you can sort of get everything you need. It's opposite the road from Maya Mall anyway. So anything you can't find here, you can pretty much find there. At night time as well, this is super pretty. All of this is lit up and there's fairy lights on and it just looks really nice, especially from the outside too. But there's really cool coffee shops here. So down here is usually where they have live music. Every time we've walked past at night time, there's someone playing right behind us, which is really cool and a really good feel of the place, I guess. And then you've got also got more food places through there, also as well as down here. It is quite quiet. Now, this is the first time we've been here during the day. So this place used to be like the place to come for dinner about two years ago. We walk through here, these all used to be filled with different vendors and you can still see their signs up, but they're, they're gone, they're empty. Like everything you could think of, there'd be a pad thai person, there'd be a roti person, a crepe person, desserts, everything. So I haven't been to Thailand before, as you know, and this, used to be this this is kind of all I know from being here. And it's kind of sad that everything's shut. It's hard to imagine that this this was kind of full. Most like, malls have survived. This one's just a very upper class mall in a very touristy area. And with the tourists gone, the locals aren't going to come and eat here because it costs 10 baht more than everywhere else. So to be completely fair, it is 4 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon. So what I think I'll do is I'll go home and then tonight we're going to go to Maya Mall and I'll show you more of Maya Mall, what it's like sort of at the time that people would go out to the mall here in Thailand. They go out for like dinner and that's sort of more of the like, I guess, tradition and general thing to do in Thailand is to go out for dinner dinner time and evening and beyond so what we'll do now is we'll wait a little bit and then we'll go out to Maya a little bit later just to show you the difference between you know during the day and night and So I didn't know what to ask for because I couldn't read the menu, but... This is really popular in Asia. Is it? Yeah. Ice Milo? So, let's try. Oh, it's so good! It's so good yeah. Oh, it's so nice! Yeah, it's the best. Oh! That's so good. It's like... Yeah, it's like a like ice choc chocolate milk, kind of. Like ice, ice Milo, funnily enough. That's nice. I really like that. And it was 50 baht for two, so 25 baht each, so... That's delicious. I'm gonna go back to him. <laughs> I am obsessed with this Milo. Like, <laughs> this is the best. Mmm, 10 out of 10. Love them. So on the walk home, my camera ran out of battery. But we stopped at Khao Soi Niman. Um, and when we filmed my Khao Soi video, which was yesterday, if you haven't seen it, go back and have a look at it. When we filmed that, we saw that all these people were lining up for these milk donuts. It's Hokkaido milk donuts. And apparently Hokkaido milk is like superior and everyone sort of wants it around here. And these are like made with... Hokkaido milk. It's from the Hokkaido region and it's a little bit more vanilla -y than regular milk. A pack of four, they're 65 baht and they came with a free sort of dipping sauce. They're um really soft. The dipping sauce tastes more like milk than the milk donuts, but the donuts themselves are super soft. They're kind of just like a light fluffy pastry. It's not my favorite donut. Like I don't think it's like I don't think it tastes like a donut for me. It's not my favorite donut, but it's still like a nice pastry. I don't think I'll like go back and like get them again. Hello, so we are off to get some dinner. We're gonna go to a street market and this one is right next door to Maya Mall. So Maya Mall is probably the biggest sort of mall around here for 
tourists. We're in Niman in Chiang Mai. So we're gonna go get some dinner, have some meat on a stick, <laughs> and I'll show you what kind of food is in that night market. And then from there, we'll probably go across and I wanna show you Maya. So it's normally obviously a quite a busy mall, but at these times when there's a little bit less tourists than normal, the mall is a little bit more quiet. So I just wanna show you what it's like, but we are going at dinner time, which is sort of more when the Thai community is out a little bit more. So you'll get to see more of what the accurate representation of what the malls are like right now. So we're just walking past Rose, Rose and Yom. <laughs> we're about to walk past Restrato, and if you know, then that's probably one of the most popular coffee shops in Niman, which is pretty exciting. Basically, you'll get a bit of an idea of what the nightlife is like in Thailand sort of right now. And as you can tell, there's still some bars going on with some music, which is really good to see. Some nights we walk past and there isn't much on, so this sounds really good. So that's Maya there. But we're gonna head to the food market first. It looks like they're kind of just setting up. It's only 6.30, um, so it must be really early. But there's like, yeah, there's lots of things to choose from. I want another Milo milk. <laughs> oh, you'll get that. You'll be able to... right, come on, can we find some food? The Thai omelette. This one, please. We'll try the omelette and then we'll just get some of this chicken on the stick and then we'll have a look around and find a couple of the nibblies I think because I reckon that's the way to go. Yeah, I think so too. This is a Thai omelette and she's put I think some rice and pork maybe. It's like crispy. This may sound weird but it's almost so crispy it tastes like chicken. <laughs> the crisp and I think like the oil, whatever she used to cook it in or something. The egg's so crispy, it tastes like fried chicken. <laughs> so Michael just came back with some chopped up meat. I think sausages and schnitzel and stuff, so. Okay, so I feel like like a Thai iced coffee. So I'm gonna find one of them. I had that mile of milk today, it was so good, but I don't know if I want two in one day, just so it has lots of like milk in it and stuff. Well, Thai iced coffee has milk too, but you know what I mean? 25. 25. Got 20 and that's fine. Yes. Thank you. Mm. So my iced coffee was 25 bar. Thai omelette with the rice was four, and pork. And pork, pork was 40 bar. And the little bits of um, like cut up chicken and sausage were 15 bar each, and we got three, so that's 45 bar. Okay, so we're gonna go have a look around the um, rest of the market. I'm kind of full, so I don't know if I'll get any more food. <laughs> I would have one. This little guy just running. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so cute, he's digging. So a lot of the stores are like closed or some were empty. It's not really that busy, but like I said, it's like a weekday, I don't know how much. It would be busy and it's winter, so. I think also it's a uni market because the uni's close by. Oh, it's near the uni. And okay. it's not uni time right now. It's holiday yeah. time. And now we're in Maya. And if you're like me, um, I came from Australia, haven't been to Asia before, and you don't know what kind of shops are here. You've got H&M, you've got what, Levi's, you've got American Eagle, you've got- Adidas. Adidas. Sports stores. And then there's also a lot of shops that I don't recognize either. So Asian or American yeah. or something. But yeah, so you do have a lot of things here. So we're heading now up to the sixth floor, which has camp. So this is a place where you can like do some work on your laptop, which is what we do obviously a lot. It's not anymore. We are just down in the basement level of Maya now getting in some toilet paper and a couple of groceries for the house. There is a grocery store just in the basement of Maya as well. It's called Rimping. It's quite popular to get your groceries from. This is where we are and I'm gonna leave the vlog here. So like and subscribe, turn your notification bell on and let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you want me to go and see in Naman or Chiang Mai. I have a couple other videos as well. So a last video and maybe one you'd like. So go check them out and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.